I almost forgot it's that time of year again, but today is September. I almost forgot it's that time of year again, but today is September 18th, 2023, and that day is National Ceiling Fan Day. Happy National Ceiling Fan Day, everyone. So, the National Ceiling Fan Day is a day that you turn off your AC units and let the breeze of your fans, you know, just cool you off. So, right here in my bedroom, we have the Casablanca Meridian from 1989 from John Conway. Uh, this fan's been up since January. And got the oak blades, and then we also have a twin of this. The lights on. Um, this is also from 1989. This is my Casablanca Meridian. I took the mercury down. It's right here. It's probably gonna go on eBay. But this Mer Meridian it came from Matthew Caradale. It did come with a step hang true, but I um I put the uh, 1997 Casablanca Victorian hang true on it to match this one because both of these are from my. Victorian, both of them are because I have two Victorians, but yeah, this one did not call it the hang true, so that's why I have it on this one. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll start off by doing our speeds. So, um, this one's not on, we'll put it on, um, speed one. So, uh, yes, yeah, fucking light switch. It's so, and here's the light. But yeah, I don't have the proper light switch, so that's why it's like that. Uh, yeah, so let's move over to the tripod. All right, that should be a better angle. So, um, I guess let's go. So, light off, go to low. Oh, speed one. Yeah, it is a little dusty. I need to clean it, and I don't mean to disappoint everyone, but I'm, I haven't done much with the basement because I've been kind of busy. So, just excuse that. So aesthetic. Uh, so speed two. Speed three. Speed five. And race of all speed six. Oh, oops. Um, finally, yeah. Uh, I thought I clicked it one time like it was, you know, off. Doesn't seem like high, wait, let me... There, that's high. It seemed like it was going a little slow. Yeah, it seems like one tunnel. It does wobble a little bit, but it's alright. Alright, let's move on to the next fan. Alright, so the next fan we have is the 1989 Castle Meridian, the second one. This is also in my bedroom. So, yeah, um, pretty much the same shape as the other one. It has a little nick right there, but it's whatever. Um, yeah, this one came from Matthew Caradale. I got this off eBay for 100 bucks. Um, I put the blades and the K4S and the glass on to match this one. This one, everything came from John Conley for like 25 bucks. But, uh, yeah. Utilizing a W11 wall control. So, let's start. For all you guys who haven't noticed, we have, you know, the OCD, and this is probably going to give you OCD. These two bulbs are brighter than these, because I don't have matching ones. I figured out this one doesn't make a buzzing noise when I dim the bulbs up, but the other one does. I don't know if that board is older, because I think this one, it's possible this one got replaced at a certain time. 
But yeah, it's kind of dark, so I'll just leave the bulbs on anyways here. Speed one. Here's speed two. Speed three. Speed four. Speed five. Let's go to the next fan. Next ceiling, no, not ceiling fan. Next fan we have is another one in my bedroom. This is this Zero Antique ceiling fan. It's in really nice shape. Yes, it is labeled at $40, but everything was like, I don't know, 50% off, something like that at the tag sale. And I ended up, I ended up getting this for 15. So yeah, let's uh, turn on uh, only speed hats. It is a little noisy. It is on these antique desks. I see a lot of these that are just terrible shapes. There's a little more here. I'll fix it one of these things when I get the time. Next fan we have is this clip-on fan. I've had this thing for like 10 years at least. I don't know the last time it ran, so that's why it's on a doorknob and I just have it here temporarily just so I can do a video of it. There's two speeds. There's one to two speeds. Go to speed two, which is high. It's not really much of a difference. I just had this thing for like, I can't even tell you how long. Turn it off. All right, here we got the Modern Forms Aviator Ceiling Fan. So let me just demonstrate the light. It's the light, and now we will turn on. We'll put it all the way up to speed six. Beep, 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 beep. All right, there it goes. All right, spin fast. It's going fast. All right, now that one's on high, and that one's on high. Close the next fans. All right, next fan we're going to be putting on high is this um, Lasco 3600L ceiling fan. So let's just open this up. All right. And then there's the reverse switch right there. So we're, we're going to be putting on high. So, yeah, where's the pull chain? It's here somewhere. Don't, don't worry, guys. Don't be fooled. This thing can blow so much air, even though it's just in the box. All right, there. there it's on high now. So let me just close this back up. Now that's on high. All right, three, two, one. Oh no, it goes the other way. All right, there. That one's on high now. All right, next fan in my room, we got the Casablanca Mercury. So let me just uh, put it on high. All right, there, now it's on high. All right, so here in my dad's room, we got the uh, Modern Forms Aviator ceiling. Nah, what the hell is this thing? Spitfire. Uh, Fanimation Spitfire, that's it. It's thinking a very different fan, but the remote has been dead for years and we replaced the batteries and it still did not work, so it's pretty much ceiling decoration. It's gonna get replaced with something good sooner or later, but not right now. I don't have the time. National Ceiling Van Day just came so quick and I've just been so busy. 
In the guest bedroom, we have the new in box black Hampton Bay Huntington three cylinder fan. It does not have much sag in it because um, we don't use this room often. And yes, I know that blade right there is bent backwards. It's been like that ever since I got it. I don't know why. But yeah. Um, wait, can I reach it now? Kind of. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to reach the fan chain. It's still about nine feet. So I just got to use the step ladder. Yeah, Delta 2 was supposed to go here, but I mean to put it up for a long time, but I've just had not had the time. But yeah, that blade right there is bent backwards, as you can see. Um, yeah. Got a little sag in it, but it, it's fine. It still operates good. I don't use this fan very often. Like, all I use is a light pretty much. But yeah. Everybody okay, use medium. Use medium. It's honestly silent. This is probably gonna be the permanent install here. I, I don't know. Got to talk to my dad about the place I wanted to put a Delta II here, the antique brass on that, but that might go right over there, but I'm still deciding. Here's high. It's not a bad fan, but I prefer something else. Like, the air movement honestly isn't bad. Yeah, wobbles like hell. Tell me about it. This is a bent backwards blade. But it's funny because if you put it in updraft, it doesn't wobble like that. It's like there's no wobble to be found. Yeah, let me... Oh, no battery. Oh, well. It'll survive. Not that tall in some areas, so yeah. And here's the light. Only five foot seven, I'm not that tall. And then uh here is off. Alright, next fan we have is this wall fan, this old Havana. Um yeah, it's been here for a little bit now. Give you a look at it. It's a nice kind of like retro style. And yeah, if I can find, you know, like some cool fans that go for like there and there. But yeah, because I had a really cool install, but I didn't end up getting those fans. Um, so it didn't happen. But eventually, I'll probably be able to do it. I don't know what. I think, I think there's three speeds. I don't know. I think this is low. Or not. Or I think that's low. There's medium. I don't know if there's two, one or two speeds. I meant two or three speeds. Oh, there's three speeds. There's high. Well, a decent amount of air on high. Alright, next fan. Alright, next ceiling fan we have is this Fanimation ceiling fan. I keep forgetting the name. But, for some reason, it spent all of its life, the remote, in... A drawer and it's yellowed but the other side isn't it's kind of strange I have no idea if this thing still works um, it should it's being a little funky though um, yeah I don't know it's this one's giving me issues too um, it might not be that switch because there's a lot of switches over here um, that might be it 
don't know if the bulb died or something, or... Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's not working for some reason. I don't know if, if the remote got disconnected or what, but it's not working. All right, now we're gonna go to the, the, the uh, display here, and you don't have to tell me how boring my fan display is, I know. Like I said, I haven't had time to get around to redo it. So, this is what it looks like for right now. And just bear with me, because it won't be looking like this soon. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's low speed <clears throat> on the Code of Annika from Kyle and the Clux fans. Yeah, I'm going to have to change out the capacitor or something. But tonight, as soon as I'm done with the video, I'm going to get to it. All right, here is um, high speed for the um, Hunter Bath and Dressing Room. So there's high. We'll shut it off now. Slim light's not hooked up. So for the uh, Blue Halsey Builder Fan and Quorum Class Square, this is. Here's high. There's high speed. Shut it off now. Uh, for the 42-inch uh, Lady Delta, we'll now put it on high speed. Here's the light. There's a four-way in it. Alright, uh, shut off. Over here we got the, um, brick premium. Old brick. There's high speed. We will shut off now. Alright, here's the Renton House of Lights. We will start on by low. Alright. There's low. Let's get that out of the way. Alright. Here's medium. Here's high. See how fast it's going? All right, off. Okay, so here we have the Regency MXXL ceiling fan I got from Tom Saren back in 21. Here's high. High speed, and now I'll shut it off. Oh, I forgot which chain this is, but. Yeah, here. It's reverse, so. Here's the cascade on high speed. There's high. You'll not shut it off. The batteries in the pan, well, oh, they're not dead. All right. Light doesn't work. Doesn't have any bulbs in it. Fan works, though. It did work. Um, probably because the batteries are so low, it can't sink. Um, test. Yeah, I don't know. It might work. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it's, the batteries are dead, so, that's why it's not doing it, either that or the board is blown, I, I don't know at this point, I've been gone for two months with my mom, so, a lot has, I missed out on, here's, um, high speed on the white star, I meant low speed, gee, Wobbles a little bit. Oh, well. Wobbled like this ever since I got it. Delta over there. Alright, we're going to put this on high speed. Alright, here's high. Turn it off now. Yeah, I know it's low, but I'll figure everything out when I'm done. I don't have time for this. All right, here we have the Alaska House beautiful ceiling fan with a ton of cobwebs on it. Capacitor is a little wonky, so I got to change it. It wobbles now. Lovely. All right, here's um high. I'm at, yeah, here's medium. Goes faster on um, 
medium speed than high because the cap is bad. But yeah, I gotta get the display back up and going. Yeah, medium's a little faster than high. All right, here we have the fan that's been up forever. We got the Casamonca Delta II. Can only imagine how long it's been up here for. I'm up here for too long. That came with that. Oh, and it's still on, I guess. Okay, I think that's off. But yeah, this came out of the same house this did. But it, they had these really ugly bull light kits, but I took them off. All right, over here we got the Newtone Brand Deluxe from Brian Fan of Fan 17. Glass, the light kit came from a Builder's Best, and the um, glass came from my uh, local uh, lighting showroom. Uh, how much better can you see it? Uh, here's low. I think the controls all the way down. Yep. This was serviced by Matthew Carradale, uh, Ceiling Fan Man 96. Because it had some issues, and then he fixed it for me, so. Uh, there's, that's high, and there's about a medium speed. I don't have time to cycle through all the speeds. There's high. Yeah, it's wobbly. It's not you U-bolt, but it's fine. This would look nice somewhere in the house. I just have to figure out where. Okay, over here we have the K63 Cast Monk Zephyr, and I put the light kit on it, the K4S, yeah, I'm gonna put the switch cap back on, and I need to put it somewhere in the house because it looks so good. Alright, here's low. It's really aesthetic, so it's a little hard to tell that's on, but it's gone. So nice in the dining room, but now we need a light there, that's why I'm putting a Victorian there. It's really sick. I got this from John Colley for forty dollars. So there's high and there's medium. The kit, the light kit came uh, from my um, Four Seasons glass bought off eBay. Came with a hanger, just not on. Oh, looks like the bulb just burnt out. There. Um, oops. Over here we have the Fasco Charleston ceiling fan. Um, let's just turn around well. It's off eBay. Back a while ago now. So honestly, it might come down. I might want to put this somewhere else or I'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll zoom in because the quality will be a little better. There's medium. Just got to find a shorter down rod so it can go somewhere. It's high. Okay. So, we got the uh, spinners over here. We got this uh, Caraway I got from um, Carter Pool in 2021. Let me just... There. Medium. Here's high. These things, everyone I've seen, it wobbles so bad. I don't know why. Got a whistle to it now. Um, here's the uh, Georgian 33D I had for like ever. This was like one of my first fans. My first spinner though. Love this fan.
need to put the tassel back on. It's on a different fan, but I'll put it on eventually. What's going on there? Alright, view fan doesn't work. Um, well, it does. It's not wired up. Oh, yeah, here we have the two blade Zephyr. Alright, um, it's been like this for, I can't tell you how long, but yeah, let's put it on high. So, it's on. Turn it up. Alright, there's high speed. Now we're going to turn it off. Okay. So, here we have the um, Delta 2. Another one, yeah, but I only put it up here because it's Slumber 5. But it's wired weird because whoever wired it, like, kind of, like, hot wired it. So, the light doesn't shut off. So, I need to go in there and rewire it. Has the Intergrade K2 or whatever schoolhouse and that globe is not original the other one did not fit so i don't know where it came from so i just put a different one on here's um speed two speed three and then slumber five it means five speeds this is fan has five speeds Speed four. It's pretty interesting how, you know, there's a knob on the side and it's just not variable speed. I honestly think it goes faster than my Delta two over there. It's high. Uh... Yeah, I have this one on its hang true because it came with a box that it must have been installed on. And then I was able to install it on these beams because I know you're not able to put these on exposed boxes without having issues. But yeah, this one did not give me issues. Alright, so, um, here we have this, um, oh, I forgot, yeah, I know, I have some redneck mounting up there, um, it, this fan's all gummed up, and this fan is, I forgot this is, yeah, Air Master, this fan, I am giving to Troy DePino, well, Troy Hughes, but that's what everyone calls him for some reason, um, yeah, this is going to him, next animation group trip, because I will be there. Um, yeah, so here we have the Casablanca Ventura ceiling fan from 1996, so here's the light kit. Alright, so now we, um, just gotta find some teletype control, which is right here. Alright. Hold on a second. Oh, actually, no. Let's get this in teletype control. Okay. Alright, here is high. Beep. Beep. Alright, cool. Now we have the Casablanca Zephyr uh, K55 from 1980 with Slumber Quiet, so turn it on to high. Alright, there's high. Now I'm going to turn it off. Um, here we have the Delta 2. There's the light. There's high. There it goes, speeding away. And then here's off. Um, over there we got the Casablanca Four Seasons with Flick Mode with RMM1. So yeah. The lights on, have it off, and high. Beep. Beady. All right, cool. Over here, we got the Hunter Regalia. So I'll show the light. Here's the light. And uh, here's high. And here's off. Here is the Golf Coast 60 Bell ceiling fan I got from Cody. Um, here's the light. Now these two, and then all of them will come on. All right, it's high, and here's off. All right, here is the Coke fan. All right, now we'll move on to the Delta Two. Here's high, and here's off. Now um, here's the Casmog Spirit of Saturn ceiling fan. Uh, let's turn it on. It's flick mode. Beep. Alright, here is the architectural white Casmog Panda from 2000. So, we'll turn it on. Beep. Beep. Alright, cool. Here we have the Casmog Panama uh, XTR 4 speed. Here's high. And we'll go to off now. Alright, here we have this um, 86 Four Seasons with a replaced motor. Here's the light. Beep. Dee doo. All right. 
Now we will get on to the Hampton Bay Bridgeton, which is our last fan. Here's high. This is the one I got out of the abandoned house. Alright, thank you all for watching, see you guys later, and goodbye.